people welcome back right there's not going to be an episode on the cb 400 at the moment for a little while reason being there's nothing else that needs doing to the bike now apart from taking it for a good ride on private land giving it a good shake down and then take it for an mot but as we are on lockdown here in the uk i can't really take it out and ride around and be selfish can't really take it for an MOT and be selfish. So we're going to have to hold off on the videos for the CB at the moment. As soon as this lockdown is lifted, she'll be back out on the road. I'll take you with me, get an MOT, make a street legal. I may, in the meantime, to keep some videos going for you wonderful people out there, for, give you something to do and watch. I may pull out the other CB400 that we picked up. You may see the video on that previously. Um, have a tinker, see if we can get it running. I'm not planning on rebuilding or restoring that at the moment. But still, we can have a look, see if we can get it running. We have a few bits here that we may get away with using. Um, so that may be in the next video or two. We'll have a look anyway. This video basically is, there's a new T4 in the stable. The old one stopped running, wouldn't go. Firing, 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 just wouldn't kick over and start. Um, I had the A look at it, they said, oh, probably fuel pump. I had a local garage, paid them £100 to diagnose electrics. They came back with us, fuel pump. They wanted to charge me £1,800 to fit a new fuel pump. The pump itself was going to cost £1,300 plus VAT. Said I can't afford it. The van isn't worth that much. So I brought it back. I managed to take the, the pump off myself. Sent it away to a place down in Swansea. Had it tested. Cost me £200. Nothing wrong with the pump. Pump was worth perfect. So anyway. All in I was into the van for about £400. Um, it owed me. I put the pump back on. Timed the pump. Still wouldn't go. So anyway. I managed to sell our space of repairs. I put what cash I had left because obviously now I'm self-employed as well. So, but I'll go into that in a minute. Um, so yeah, I, I, I managed to pick up another T4 just before the lockdown. I was lucky to go and get it. Um, I had to travel um, about 100 miles to go and pick it up. It's a 2000 van, 193,000 on the clock. Not too bad, it's a little bit shabby, but for a 20 year old van, it's holding up well. Um, so I'll take you out and we'll have a little walk around the van, give you a look, see what you think, give you a little update on what I'd like to do to the van. Um, and that'll be it for this video. Now, I'd like to say a little bit about this coronavirus, COVD-19, whatever you want to call it. Um, here in the UK, we are currently on limited lockdown. A lot of garages, uh, food retailers are still open, still supplying us with food, still making sure our vehicles are going well. Um, it is scary times, I will admit. My wife works in Asda's, a big food chain. She has to be on the front line. She went, got to work today, in fact, and she said she's seen, spoken to well over 200 people just today alone. She's doing her best, washing hands, wearing gloves, got a mask on, the best she can. It's scary shit. I'm a self-employed tattooist. I do carpentry as well, but my main income would be from tattoos. I can't tattoo. With the lockdown, I'm stuffed. I've got no income. So we're solely surviving now on my wife's income at the moment. Uh, it's hard times. There's a lot of deaths around the world, especially in Italy. My thoughts and prayers goes out to all the families who've lost loved ones and to everybody that is suffering and going through it. Uh, yeah, it is scary. But at the end of the day, we've got to be positive, people. If you stick... To what the information is given stay away from people 
only go in groups of two take your family out if you need to but stay from people stop going to the parks and mingling together stop sending your kids out to play at the end of the day they're your kids what am i going to do with five kids or three kids or four kids you you had them so look after them stop leaving them going out walking the streets if we all stick together be positive do like is being asked of us not like lemons like some people saying oh it's just a government money control us it's a conspiracy man fucking shut up it's more than the flu it's a virus yes it's a deadly virus that nobody can argue it's passed through wet through spit you contact something somebody has coughed on sneezed on put it to your mouth you're gonna get it if you're not around those people touching talking being chances are you'll be fine i don't know the numbers percentages what's going on in the background but we all need to stick together we all need to be positive we all need to look out for each other if that means a phone call a text a video something reach out to somebody that you know or somebody that you don't know reach out and just let them know that they're not on their own we are all in this together we will get through it there are going to be deaths unfortunately but when you look at it worldwide globally AIDS hepatitis common flu pneumonia kills more in a year than what have happened so far I'm not saying it's bad it is bad but we'll get through it so stay positive people be there for each other by way of messaging phone calls videos facetiming even on facebook just ask how are people doing let's start a little process now and see if we can kick it and get it going get it global if we need to everybody's allowed you're in the uk at the moment to go out once a day for a little bit of exercise i'll be the first to do this when i go out later on for a little walk up the mountains behind me i'll take a nice picture and I'll share that on Facebook. I don't usually do Twitter or shit like that. Just Facebook for me. So I'll share that on Facebook. You do the same. When you go out for a little exercise. Even if it's out through your, your window. If you're self-isolating and you don't leave the house. Look through your window. If there's a bird in your garden. Take a picture. Put it on Facebook. And say on there. How is everybody? Use a nice little picture. Hopefully raise some spirits. If we all do that, if it starts with one, multiplies by ten, hundred, thousand, million, surely that can lift somebody up, lift the spirits up. So we'll get there. Right, I'm not gonna waffle any longer. I'll take you out now, we'll have a look around the van. It's on the road, so I'm on my own, so I'm not gonna be amongst other people, but we'll have a look and see what we think. Stay tuned, people. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Okay? Only sneeze over people, over people you don't like. It's a joke. Right, here she is. It's a 1.9 turbo diesel. It's not a turbo diesel injection, just a 1.9. It's the 88 special. Got the triple seats in the front, and it's done one hundred ninety-three five six four. Windscreen got to be replaced. There's a crack in the screen, so that's next to be done. I need a glove box and an ashtray cover. I've already made a, a dash tidy. I should have filmed me doing that, but I already made it. I've also run the phone charger up through, and he comes out down here, so that I can plug him in and either 
with an adapter or a double USB are going to fit in with there. My phone then sits in here so it'll sit upright if I'm using the sat nav or I can lay you down in there when I'm driving. It's in a fairly good neck, seats are all alright. Let's go the standard headliner. So I'll take you around the back, show the back. It's got the steel wheels with the black caps. So I will have these powder coated eventually. As with all T4s, it needs a bit of TLC on some of the arches. And that one, a little bit of work there. Black bumpers, and it's got the tailgate, not the twin doors. You unlock it. Which the van before my last one was a tailgate, and I much preferred that because you couldn't uh, obviously stand under them. Right, the back is got a half bulkhead. That's spare battery ready to be hooked up for leisure. Half play at the moment, and it's got the the van cab mat, the rubber mat, because it's the eight. Uh, I think it's the eight 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 special. It's the one point nine. So it's a few few bubbles, but nothing major. Got to be done with the arches. Again, the steels have got to be uh, acid dipped and then powder coated, but that'll come as and when I can afford to do it. There's no major, little bit of blip in there, but inside, he's solid. A little bit down there, the sill itself is good. Bit on our arch. Wheel again, got to be done. We got passenger, double seat. All this is going to get wrapped in uh, the same anthracite colour. That I done the dash tidy in. The dash tidy is just half inch play, just made him up. It's got the rubber mat in. I gotta get some van mats for that as well. Side door. As I say, all these arches are gonna be taken out, all this boxing in. Play is gonna be taken out and redone. There'll be units and everything done down there. I'm thinking of keeping the off. Well, good. But painting him up, obviously, to match the colour of the van. The van I've had a respray. It's down on the logbook as grey. Um, somebody has sprayed it at some point in this blue. It is quite a nice blue. I got to be honest. There's a scraper there. I got to touch in. But apart from that, she's no bad. You can see the screen got to be replaced. The garage is doing that. It's just at the moment we're on lockdown, so she can't uh, get done. Is the 1.9 turbo diesel what I have done so far if I show you if I can do this one-handed it'll be a miracle oh look at that right it's 1.9 TD it is what it is the van uh, engine Battery compartment was a little bit rusty, so today what I done was I rubbed it down with some wire brush, rust primer there, and then just give him a black gloss paint. I got to get a new pollen filter and I was in. But apart from that, she's not bad. So there you are. That's the new uh, horse in the stable. So, thank you very much for watching. Like I say, we'll see if we can get a, a few more videos up at the CB now. And we'll go from there. Stay tuned, people. Chill out. Stay safe.